Um, hello everyone, this is Dice from Anime Oasis Renaissance. My site has finally been put back up. It is now AnimeOasis.net. And thus with the new domain change, I have changed the site name to Anime Oasis Renaissance. Um, I'm sorry I haven't gotten a video out in so long. It's been six months. And most of that was due to college, with a lot of projects I had going on, and layouts and stuff, because my major is web design. And I am hoping that now that college is done for the summer, that I will be getting a video up once every two weeks, or once a month. If people have a video request, you are free to ask me to make a video of a photoed Adobe Photoshop. I have used 7.0 and CS versions, though I only have 7.0. Many people have been asking me if they could have Adobe Photoshop. If you want Adobe Photoshop, I have a torrent file of it. It's 7.0. If you need a program to open up a torrent file, I would be happy to give you one. I use BitTorrent. If you already have one, I can just send you the torrent file. If you want it, just email me at lunar underscore dice 11 at yahoo.com. My email is also on the main page of my YouTube account. Um, there you also find my MSN. If anybody needs help with anything, you can add me to M your MSN and I can help you with either web design or Adobe Photoshop. Um, in this tutorial I was asked if I would make a tutorial on how to make a dot pattern. I'll also be going into how to make a pattern's background transparent so you just get the like if you want lines you can just have lines but no background. Although this will be a more generalized tutorial because I also have a patterns tutorial already created and uploaded. I will put a link for that tutorial in the about video. To start I'm going to go to file new. You can make the width anything you want just know that when you make a pattern it will take up the entire area you have either selected or the size of the actual document. I'm going to make mine 20 by 20 pixels. Some people may have this set to have a transparent background. Mine is set to have a white background. Um, to get rid of this, just simply double click it, create new layer, and delete this one. Um, this will be a transparent background one. If you want a background, you just simply add a new layer at the under it, under layer one, the one that will have the pattern on it, and put whatever color or whatever you want on it. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. My mouse is broken f at the moment until I get a new one for the magnifying thing because I lost the CD to install it, and I was stupid and left my forty dollar mouse with magnification at college where somebody stole it. So I'm going to zoom in as much as I can for you to see it. Yours will probably be a lot more than this. It's just so everybody can see it because my screen I have minimized so much. I'm going to use the circle tool which you will find on the left toolbar under the text tool originally it will say probably rectangle tool if you've never really switched it around before it will be if you hold down your mouse on this rectangle go to the third one the ellipse tool make sure that on the top under file edit image there is a bar here too this will show the tool that you've selected and it will be one two three icons fill pixels is what we'll say when you highlight it on. If you hold down the shift key you will automatically get a perfect circle. Mine's going to be black. You can make it any color that you want. I'm just used to using default black and changing the color later. If you want to know how to change the color of the dots, there's a tutorial on that without having to change the pattern. You'll have to go to the pattern video that I made prior to this. As I said, the link is in the side. I have this centered. Um, however big the circle is will be how big it actually is when it shows up and the amount of space here on every side of this circle will also be shown up. Keep in mind that this will be stacked. It will be like this is a block and it will be like using building blocks 
uh, for the entire screen. So if you don't want a lot of space between each circle, then you should just eliminate more space between either the top or the bottom, or you could just eliminate one of them. I could have it in the corner if I wanted, and it would just have all this space. But I'm going to put mine in the center. Edit, define, pattern, it should be right under, define brush, and you can name it. It doesn't matter if patterns have the same name, at least in 7.0. It will not overwrite your pattern at all. So just hit OK. And to show you the pattern, I'll put 200 pixels. You, if you want to know how to use the pattern, you should go to the pattern tutorial I made prior to this. But that's the end of this tutorial, and I will see you guys either two weeks from now or a month from now.